If to sin means to miss the mark, then to aim is an honorable thing no matter what place in life you find yourself in. It is holy, and it is the first step toward success in every endeavor. The promise to yourself to truly try for a desired goal. That's sincerity. That effort is infinitely loved by God and is of God in the action of it. Think about that before condemning another by their efforts. As you lack faith in another, you lack faith in God and are in denial of God's love for that person. God does not mock. Mockery is the language of the devil and the chant of demons. Only the weak and lowly mock. A brother might joke, and when a brother or sister jokes, it is only honest when it is backed by encouragement and brotherly sisterly love, or otherwise, it is secretly jealousy and hypocrisy, which is easy to tell if you have the fair ear for it, but impossible to hear to someone who only knows how to listen for harmful words of attack. So it's important for us to be responsible enough to practice the language of encouragement and trust and belief in one another, even if we might only receive disappointment. If we only ever expect to be disappointed, then we will only ever treat others like they are disappointments. And if we each forget the comfort of entrustment, then we will forget that such a thing brought a feeling up into us that warms us with great value to the feeling of another having faith in us. And if we culturally, as a society, forget the value of faith in one another, then we will punish each other as an automatic expectation prior to the sin even committed, and then the sin will become commonplace. And if you look at the world right now, it is exactly what has happened. We have too high of an amount of marriages from our generation, a mockery of the definition of relationship as we fail to even try to relate with one another. We disapprove of empathy and teach our youth and younger generations to not even try for what they imagined they could have of love and to not even aim for what they know in their hearts is already theirs. I apologize for the society of today to the generations of youth before us for what crappy excuses we've left of an example in our destructive wake of our lives. But as we are beginning to awaken to it, I do feel like you will be proud of watching us retake the value we tossed away to the gutter and dust off the dirt from our collars and tuck in our shirts. In every placement in life, in every class of society, in every level of poverty, from the rich to the poor, to the loneliest of us to the world, famous we are all and each of us needed right now, and all and each of us equally responsible for one another, as that where we find ourselves globally, it's a place of universal humility. We have shamefully made mockery of ourselves and become rusty in our virtues and habitual, habitual in our vices. I am a sinner. I'm not proud of it. At the same time, I will not be made or brought to be ashamed of, by any of anyone from any walk of life. Since that is an old song we have nearly sang in symphony to our graves, such as a species horrifically in lockstep. Think about it. Really think about it. Although each of us is responsible for our own actions and needs to be held accountable for our own crimes and sins, really, what did we expect? Most of our lives chanted the chorus, quotes, there's too much people in the world. While we all nodded in agreement that humans are too stupid and wicked and horrible stewards of the planets, and while for the most part that may have been true by the ratio of individual, that was not true of all of us, and instead of honoring and valuing the actions of the noble deeds done by those who cared, criticized them, claiming they only did so for social approval, because it made us feel insecure to see just as the people were insecure in their witnessing Jesus do precisely the simple, easy things they all knew they could do, but were too proud to even try, since it would require admitting they were pompously hypocrites in denial of what is good and just and righteous by universal definitions. These things are understood by the heart, regardless of culture and regardless of generation. Our ancestors were born with these understandings as we were, and we equally find ourselves in these same denials they found themselves in.